All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro. Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin', y'all? We are back with another video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, y'all. We got a, ooh, y'all, we got some, we got some stuff to get into today. The girls are fighting! The girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. So y'all know we gonna talk about it, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you click the like button on this video and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time we drop another video, all right, y'all? So the girls are fighting, y'all, and y'all know we gotta talk about it because y'all messy and I know y'all want the breakdown. Y'all know I'm gonna get y'all the breakdown. So here it go. <laughs> um, so look, I had to break this up into rounds because the girls are fighting, for real. All right, so round one. Ding, ding, ding. That's my imaginary bill. Ray Monte and Cardi B. So, everybody knows Cardi B. Everybody knows Ray Monte. But if you don't know Ray Monte, where have you been? We love Ray Monte over here. What's up, Ray Monte? Ray Monte is really that girl. Just saying. But, y'all, so Ray Monte and Cardi B exchanged words back and forth today. So, it all started with this TikTok video that Ray Monte um, went ahead and, um, and uploaded. And the video started to go viral so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video and then i'm gonna let you know what cardi b's response was and then y'all this is what's gonna get us into the next round too so you gotta follow you have to follow but the girls are fighting and the girl listen the girls the girls do not like each other baby the girls don't like each other but we knew that already we knew that they're all they all a fake little phony it's cool right <laughs> All right, so let me get that video pulled up, y'all, because the girls is fighting, child. Um, okay, so we got Ray Monte. So Ray Monte did this video, y'all. Um, and this video, basically, he was talking about basically how y'all know, like, it's basically cool to be, um, it's basically cool to be like ghetto right now. You know, like ghetto is a thing. You know, and we have people who actually come from the ghetto. You know what I mean? And um, you know. That, that sort of thing. So, once I get the video pulled up, well, you know what, y'all? Okay. Y'all, I switched to a new system. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm finna do? We finna just, I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. I'm gonna just let y'all hear it. That's what I'll do. Um, Because it ain't finna worry me, child. Okay. So, listen closely. I'm gonna put, the, put it up to the mic, and then we'll talk. Y'all, I switched over to Streamlabs. I was using StreamYard at first. So, that's why everything seems a little, um, that's why everything seems a little, you know, all out of sorts today. But y'all know we still going to get to the tea though, right? Y'all know this. Stop playing. Stop playing. All right, y'all. So, I got it. Thank y'all for being patient with me. So, look, this is the video. I'm going to put it up here so y'all can hear it because we ain't finna mess around with that. But this is what Ray Monte said, and then I'll let y'all know what Cardi B said in response, and then we'll we'll talk about it. Hold on. Because it was like, y'all know I don't like to drag things out, but the videos y'all keep saying, I'm ghetto, and da 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 and it throws me off because none of my videos am I walking up people selling them empty, they purse, give me everything you got. I don't think I'm as ghetto as everyone tries to make it seem, and what bothers me as a black person, you guys say that I'm ghetto, but Cardi B, who doesn't look like a visible black woman to me, and this is no shade to you, Cardi B, this is no shade, this is just literally a fact, and we're speaking on colorism and all those type of things. She is very, very ghetto. She's way ghetto -er than me. She's way harder gay the greasy with me she was outside with the damn bloods and y'all don't say that this lady is ghetto y'all don't say that she isn't marketable it feels like everyone can be ghetto and and black besides ghetto and black people and again no shade to you cardi b i'm just doing a comparison my content has always been uplifting women i've always said so many things about women like to encourage them and be amazing and, and i might make a little joke about a relationship or a boy or something like that and i might say bitch but that don't make me a fucking gangster thug psycho man i literally don't get that i have so much positive content that i don't even say a cuss word in that is so uplifting with so many people so many diverse groups, ethnicities, so what do y'all want to put me in this ghetto, sad, black trope for? I am from the hood. Yes, I am, but I have layers to me. I am, I can have a deep, articulate conversation with you. Stop criticizing me. 
Another thing, I have always been an advocate for higher education. I have always sent people in college money for food. I tell people to stay in school. Get your degree. I talk to people with their 9 to 5 and say how people with 9 to 5 push the world. I talk about um body positivity, all this type of thing. So what do y'all be wanting to make a up? All I say is shake your ass. Shake your ass and turn on the damn cheap teeth. Because I don't. So okay. So y'all, that's what Ray Monte had to say. So y'all know Cardi B. Cardi B, Sha. This is what she had to say back to that, y'all. Okay. So, we got it pulled up. Here we go. Y'all know we finna get into some things. I'm kind of excited to talk about this. All right, y'all. So, this is what Cardi B said back. And we just gonna go ahead and cover my face for this because I don't matter right now. So, Cardi B said, it's crazy because when I became famous... People said I'm ghetto, talk shit about my accent, call me dumb because the way I speak, say I got no cooth, talk about my teeth, my braids, my two buns, and to, and to this day, no matter what I accomplish, I still get called a stripper, all because I'm from the ghetto. People misinterpret me because apparently I'm loud and ghetto to this day, call me a hood rat and all. When I sat down with Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, they called me a ghetto stripper. Why is why is it that y'all got to use me to make y'all comparisons because y'all only see the glory, but not when I get dragged 24-7? Question mark. Leave me the fuck alone and out of y'all bush. Okay? So Cardi B said that back to Raymonte, whatever, to that video. And so Raymonte says, girl, why are you getting so mad at the comparison? I'm saying you are successful and reach heights that visibly black people, black black people, ghetto people have a harder time reaching. Then then act just like that that act, I'm sorry. That act just like you. I'm not saying you don't deserve success or how you act is bad. I'm saying that if someone that was my color or darker acts the same way, we will never receive the same awards or love for being very dense. Sukiana, Sexy Red, The City Girls, the list goes on. You've had major campaigns that ghetto black women and men like me will never get. It's deep. It's a deeper conversation. I'm not trying to offend you at all to not think you have to not think you have it easier to be seen as marketable because your lighter is crazy. So that's what Raymonte was saying. Let me go ahead and break that down. So basically what Raymonte is saying, like Cardi B, you have these opportunities because, okay, you do present as ghetto, you from the Bronx, you know, all that. But, girl, look at the color of that skin. You are a racially ambiguous woman, like I said in my last video, because she was joking about police brutality. And she doesn't know the detriment of statements like that as, you know, for black people. Her saying that as a racially ambiguous woman who is not technically black, she doesn't look like us. So whether she's Afro-Latina or anything, she doesn't look like us. It's not really clicking for Cardi B. And Ray Monte is like, girl, literally what I'm saying is you can act ghetto. You can be ghetto because of your skin tone. You still have the right complexion for the connection. You do. And that's not clicking for Cardi B. So I won't, they went on, they went back and forth. I won't read everything, but I'm going to read to you the last thing that she said um, really quickly. And then it's going to bring me into the next round. So this is just round one. Okay. So she said, let me see. All right. Okay, y'all. All right, so y'all don't need to see me again. So look, Cardi B said, same reason why you felt comfortable calling me a Mexican when I'm Dominican, and I asked you why you feel comfortable calling me a Mexican when Ice and Jarrell Jerome, Zoe Salanda, and are Dominicans, and you don't be on that with them. You do it to me because you know that's what people use to hurt me. Same way as you use my name in that video, knowing exactly what you're doing. So she's talking to Raymonte. But here is where it gets interesting, okay? So then I Spice chimes in. Nobody was talking to her, but, you know, she wanted to add her two cents, which is fine. You know, she's just like us. We, can, we regular people, we can add our two cents. So she can chime in on the matter, too. So she says back to, but you know what? 
Nobody was talking to her, but they but Cardi B did mention her, so that probably is why she felt the need to go ahead and chime in. So she said, "No offense, Barty, it's because I have a Dominican parent and a black one." You know what I mean? She like, girl, be for real. I have a Dominican parent and I also have a black one. You. It's not, it's, it wasn't clicking for her. So then Cardi B said back, now this is where the gag happens, okay? So Cardi B says back, I think, I think there might be some confusion on what was said. I asked why he feels so comfortable calling me Mexican. I have no Mexican parents. My mom is Trini. She came out of a black, whole black woman. My father is Dominican. I'm Dominican, just like you. I also used other Dominicans as an example because, as you should know, a lot of times we get clustered into one because of the language. Also, can you send me that pic that you took of me with your camera from Vanity Fair? Thank you. Kissy face. Y'all. Okay. She gagged. She gagged her because basically what I pulled from that, y'all... <coughs> Cardi B basically was like, girl, while you on here, you know, trying to carry on my time. Okay, round two. Ding, 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 ding. This is what they, that was. Cardi B like, wait, not you on here chiming in, trying to, you know, go against me. But, girl, we cool in real life. Like, basically, like, don't make me, don't make me gag you for real. So, she did gag her. She like, oh, yeah. And by while you at it, while you on the internet, you know, putting your two cents in things. Go ahead and send me them pictures that you took in your phone of me and you. Basically, almost like you're a fan. Like, you're a fan. Like, be for real. She like, you're a fan. That's basically what I got from it. What y'all get from it? She was like, you're a fan. So then I'm like, damn. I'm like, did she just... I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like did Cardi B just get alive? live? Did she just... Did, you, did she just stun her? That's what I was thinking. What y'all think? I'm like, did she just send her? So then y'all, Cardi B, I mean, then I Spice does this. Um, let me show y'all, channel. So then I Spice, y'all, she uploads the pictures. So this is her and um, Cardi B at the Vanity Fair party. This was a couple months ago. They were taking pictures. You know, they cackling and everything. And then she put De Lo Mio. And I looked up what De Lo, De Lo Mio means. Um, I think it means together. Like, we stand together, you know, since they're both Dominican or whatever. So, and then Cardi B put the heart. I mean, you know, I Spice put the heart with the Dominican. And then Cardi B responded back to it with... Um, you know, the heart, like, yeah, girl, Dominican power forever. You know, I love all races. I never want y'all to think that I am, um, racist or anything. That's not the case. I love all races. I love Dominican people. I love Mexican people. I love white people, black people. I love all kind of people. I do. Me, myself, I am a black man and that is how I identify. But I have friends who are different races and, you know, it doesn't. So I don't want y'all to think I'm coming for that. But I do think that, you know, Cardi be like, hold on, girl. You on here doing all this on my time. Go ahead and upload those pictures that you got in your camera roll that you didn't put out there because you probably didn't want nobody to know we was cool because you saw over there clicked up with Nicki Minaj and the Barb's. Oh, what did I say that? I said that because this is <laughs> I Spice. Why would you know? Not saying she got to upload everything now. <clears throat> Why these just sitting in your camera roll? We would have never saw these pictures had Cardi B never gagged you. <clears throat> Y'all know we wouldn't have either. Y'all know we wouldn't have never got these pictures if Cardi B would have never gagged Ice Spice. She like, girl, you're a fan. That's what I pulled from it. I don't know. That's what I pulled from it, okay? I thought that was really interesting. I'm like, okay. You know, it, and, Car and what Ice Spice did to kind of defuse the situation, she uploaded the picture. Heart, kissy face, Dominican girl. We're Dominican. We need to stick together. That's what I pulled from that. Like, girl, I don't want no smoke with you. And she uploaded those pictures. You know what I mean? So I thought that was very interesting. And y'all, now, y'all know how Stan Twitter works. Y'all, the barbs is on ice ass. Okay? The barbs is on ice ass. They are on her neck. Like, literally. They done deported her from Gag City and everything. They got this thing, y'all. And I sent it to my friend earlier. I can't find it, but y'all, they got this thing. They done deported her from Gag City. They like, uh, Ice Spice scene leaving Gag City. You know, they they on her heels or whatever. Because y'all know how stands with the work. I love all the girls. You know what I mean? 
I love all of them. And I'm going to clock each one of them when I need to. So, y'all, I thought that was really, really cool. That I thought that was really, really funny. But, y'all, okay, round three. Ding, 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 ding. So, we got Carisha versus JT. Seemingly, though. This is not confirmed. So, do not, don't take my word for this. And, y'all, I got to remember, too, when y'all are listening to me, y'all are listening to me give my opinions on actual things that have happened. So y'all see how what I pieced together from the Cardi B and Ice Spice interaction is what I pieced together from the Cardi B and Ice Spice interaction. We all got our opinions. This is just mine. So always remember that before you get in the comments doing too much, okay? Because I will clock you in the comments too. But look, so now we got JT and Carisha, seemingly. Okay, and this is, again, my opinion. This is what I pieced together. So y'all, JT, a couple hours later, JT, and this is unrelated to what happened with Ice Spice and Cardi B, but JT goes online and she has some things to say. She has some things to get off her chest. So let me go ahead and pull it up. And y'all know I love, and y'all, thank y'all for bearing with me while I'm getting to know. Y'all know I just started doing this last week. I know maybe I do seem a little fluent like I've been doing this a long time. Y'all, I have literally been uploading YouTube videos and talking to y'all only for a week. Literally, it's only been a week. So thank y'all for bearing with me. And although it's a lot of content on there, I've only been doing this for a week. So I'm still getting my systems and everything together and, you know, trying to navigate everything and make sure everything is efficient for y'all because I love y'all. And I thank y'all so much for supporting me and my channel so far. We still real small. We a real small community. But y'all, I want us to be tight knit. You know, we on the road to 500 subscribers. We going to get there, y'all. We going to get there. If you like my content, make sure you tell your friends and family to subscribe, y'all. We're going to keep growing. And it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing because we're going to keep getting on here. We're going to have a good time. We going to keep, we going to be a little messy. We going to cackle, but we going to talk about it. And one thing we going to do, we going to tell the truth, you know? So, I'm getting off track. But I just want to say that to y'all because I really do appreciate all the love and support I've been getting. Um, these last couple days from y'all. So, y'all, okay, this is what JT said. Look. So, y'all, she said, bitches be sneak dissing, letting they flunky, wannabe ass friends hype their head up. But when I come, just know I'm not gonna play with neither one of y'all bitches. Y'all long overdue! Exclamation point. Hating ass bitch. And she said that last part with her chest. Okay? Hating ass bitch. All caps. She said it with her chest. Then she said, I'm the most supportive bitch ever with receipts, but somewhere in a bitch airhead ass head, I'm their competition? Out of all these bitches who dick you ride, you want to pick me as your enemy. Loser! JT has some things to say, okay? So y'all, who, who was Jay-Z talking to? Now, everyone is speculating online. That's why I said seemingly that she was talking about Young Miami. Now, y'all, I think she was talking about Young Miami, too. Now, I would be shocked if she was not talking about Young Miami, but I, JT, I love you so much. I actually, you know, I've been living for JT lately. I'm not even going to lie. Like, but JT, why you ain't put no ad on it, baby? Now you got us. I guess you said that's for y'all messy ass to figure out. But look, JC, why you ain't put an ad on it, baby? Ooh, because now you left me. Now I got to indulge and be messy and try to think that you talking about Carisha. And you probably not talking about Carisha. But then again, my, my spirit is telling me that this is for Carisha. You know what I mean? I, I feel like this is for Carisha. We know it's going to come out, you know. And one thing about it, if this is for Carisha, I feel like Carisha will respond to this. I don't know. What y'all think? But y'all, the girls are fighting. The girls are fighting. And this is crazy, y'all. All this happened within a matter of a couple hours. I literally was sitting here today like, oh, my God. Like, what am I going to talk about? Like, <sighs> you know, I really was sitting here like, oh, my God, what am I going to talk about? And I had things to talk about. But, y'all, y'all know we love a little mess. We lo love a little, you know, a little gossip. You know, so, y'all, the girls are fighting. But let me know what y'all think. What do y'all think about all this? What do you take from all of this? Um, do you think that Cardi B is just too sensitive? 
that she overreacts. And Cardi B literally will argue with a brown paper bag. If the brown paper bag says something about Cardi B, she literally will, will respond to a brown paper bag. Like, she is so sensitive. Still love you, Cardi, but you are so sensitive, girl. Like, <coughs> you have been in the game for some time now, you know? <coughs> Sorry, y'all. That cough almost gone, though. Y'all see? I only cough like one or two times during the stream. Y'all, if you've been here, you've been knowing I'm getting over this cold. But, yeah, Cardi B's sensitive, but, you know, she her name was mentioned, so people are they they're entitled to speak on things when their name is mentioned or whatever. Me personally, I probably would have just paid it. But y'all, do y'all think that Cardi B gagged Ice Spice? Did she gag the live with that? Like, yeah, did she did she sun her? Did she really like call her a fan? And y'all also too, do y'all think JT is talking to Carisha? Because JT, who else are you talking to? Who could you be talking to? Put an ad on it, you know. Y'all, y'all know we messy. Y'all know we here for the mess. I love everybody involved. Y'all gotta know this is all just for entertainment purposes only. I love all the girls involved. Y'all, we just here. It's just entertainment. That's all. We just y'all know whenever something happens, we gonna talk about it. We gonna get here on here and we gonna cackle about it. We gonna have us a good time. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Let me know y'all take on everything. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you are watching this, oh my god, I can't say this enough. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Just click it. Boop. It's one button. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. And turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. I'll see y'all in the next one.